Good morning. Welcome to Tech Talks again. Today I have um, Jide Abiola, a founder of co-founder of Kia Kia, and a digital lending platform um, utilizing artificial intelligence. Jide, welcome to uh, Tech Talks. Thanks for coming along. So, thank um, you for having me. Zon. Apart from being a competition to my very self, uh, can you just tell us a little bit about Kia Kia and um, why you started it and how it's doing? Uh, Kia Kia is a digital lender, as you rightly stated, but uh, we use a non-traditional approach to provide you know, financial services to individuals and MSMEs by relying on non-traditional data, machine learning and artificial intelligence to provide both direct and uh, peer-to-peer loans to these people. So uh, typically, uh, loans are actually uh, crowdfunded by individual lenders and also corporate lenders who come to our platforms to access uh credible borrowers essentially so we are able to actually book and originate these loans from our platform end to end entirely online so let me ask the question um i think care care means very fast so, yes um how are you able to so what's the process how, um, what, what what if i want to borrow money okay um and i i, I see it artificially uh, it, it's powered by artificial intelligence yes. how do you determine uh, whether I'm good or bad? What, what are the things that, that uh, your system does? Well, every prospective borrower ought to have a bank account mm -hmm. with any of the deposit money banks, BVN, phone number, email. So essentially we use all of that with a number of voluntarily submitted information. We cross-reference them, we validate, authenticate all of those information. So it's more or less like a crunching of this data in a black box to towards you know a defined uh, output. So based on that, the prospective borrower is rated and assessed, and then given an offer based on the determined capacity, financial capacity of the borrower. And if you accept the offer, you proceed to accept uh, uh, terms and agreement, and the funds are disbursed into your account. I won't ask you how much you charge, but. Uh, uh... <laughs> Um, so tell me, so how did we get here? I mean, so how did you, did you just wake up and start care care? What were you doing before you took this plunge to be this entrepreneur? Well, I'll tell you, I'm one of the most privileged Nigerians because I actually started my career in the army. I was a soldier uh, and my last unit was the headquarters Nigerian Army Medical Corps. And afterwards, I, was more, I worked in an IT education center from there. I was like an independent consultant for a number of firms, PwC. I took up an appointment in the Senate. I was recommended. So I served on the Senate Committee on Banking, Insurance, other financial institutions, and, other, and also capital markets. And then I capped it up by going back into the private okay. sector, uh, working for a leading BPO yeah. uh, company. So, but one of the things that influenced what led to the birth of Kiakia was, I remember while I was in the army, there was a time I needed a consumer loan, and I approached my bank where my account, my salary account was domiciled for almost seven years as at the time. And it took almost three months before I could get something as small as 70,000. And you know, and I was wondering, the bank had all of my data, my information, my employer information, why? Couldn't they provide me this facility in good time and in reasonable time? So I and I felt that there are thousands of individuals and MSMEs out there who do not have access yeah. to critical capital, you know, to grow their business. Guys, you're uh, making banks sound really bad. Who needs a bank? Anyway, um, so uh, how so how easy was it to start it? I mean, like you got to build a platform. You to, how, how did you fund it? Um, um, how did you get people to even buy into the your part of the buy into your idea? Well, I will give credit to my co-founders as well because I have two co-founders and we all have varying background. There is one from the sports betting industry, one in technologies. I have background in computer science, so I understood, I uh, understand uh, data a lot. So uh, the starting point for us was to use our savings. And that was why I took up my very last appointment because I needed to show up my savings. And when we initially approached a number of people, you know, they laughed and said, ah, you want to actually provide 
credit entirely online in Nigeria, you know, perhaps because of the assumed notoriety. And we said, okay, instead of going around seeking for this investment, why not we put our money where our mouth is? And so we decided to, you know, develop a minimum viable product mm. and launched a private beta. Mm. So it was while the private beta version of that service was running that we had our first, you know, seed investment. And I will never forget what one of the angel investors said. He said, uh, GD, I trust you so much. If it fails, we are going to do another thing. Mm. So I, we actually took advantage of the credibility with the co-founders also had with a number of friends mm -hmm. so when we started we needed to change a lot of paradigm as well because we are providing a service to a generation especially many millennials who had never accessed such kind of services before so and we launched out and we've been growing organically through referrals and you know and on the back of our credibility so i mean yeah and you told me you are this is, this is your second year now. Yes. And so, from numbers, how many people have access to your platform? Um, how many? So, what's the, what's the strike rate? How many have access? How many? How many? What percentage are you dispersing? Okay, we have about thirty something thousand listed borrowers, and we have over two hundred and fifty-eight listed individual lenders, and we've been able to successfully disburse over six to seven thousand. Uh, I mean, to, to disburse to over six to seven thousand unique borrowers across 33 states of the federation. Yeah. And typically, our average business loan size is, ab is around 750,000 naira, while our average, you know, personal loan size is around 75,000 naira. So, so you have to. You so, like... we wouldn't say we are we, we are a micro lender. We yeah. actually, you know, uh, tailor fit. Yeah whatsoever credit yes. we offer to prospective borrowers so, based on their capacity. So you're, so you're playing on both sides, you're playing, you're providing loans for people and then you're also providing a platform for people who have excess liquidity to, to lend to people. Yes, to so, lend to people. So, who, so, the, so I guess the provider of liquidity is taking the risk that, that your platform... Uh, well, the, the beauty of it is that we ensure that those who lend out on our platform are giving access to only about the, the 20% 20, 20 uh, of the credible borrowers on our platform. And besides, we have a very effective and efficient collection system in place that kind of uh, secures you know, the transaction. So since we started, no lender has actually lost any okay. money. So we've had lenders, especially Nigerians in the diaspora, from Russia, from UK, from the US, you know, who remit capital back home. Instead of having those funds idle, many of them actually provide it as loans, short-term loans on our platform. So if I want to be a lender, okay. what do I do? Uh, you register, you create your profile, you submit. We want to ensure as well that, you know, our platform is not a place for people to whitewash funds as well. So we, we carry out due diligence that, okay, you have a good source of income, either from your business or from your employment. Mm -hmm. And then you start receiving notifications of qualified borrowers. Fantastic, fantastic. So I, mean, I can go on, go on, I have many questions to ask, but I have to ask you one more last question. So um, how are you going to get more people to know about Kia Kia? Uh, well, Apart from building sector, of course. <laughs> well, uh, our strength so far, because we believe in the philosophy that one good person will definitely know another good person. So one credible borrower will also know another or five credible borrowers. So that's the way we've been growing up to this point. And it's the same thing with the lenders. Okay, a lender will get their money, decent interest rate back on the loans they provide, will refer another lender. But uh, essentially, because we want to scale up, uh, we are talking with a number of investors to provide, you know, a little bit of equity and uh, uh, enough debt to actually scale up rapidly. So, so where do you see, so I mean, this time next year, what would, what would you regard as a good number in a good year? Uh, by next year, we are looking at uh, having at least about 150,000 active MSMEs and individual borrowers quality because we are after 
quality borrowers, right. people who pay, people who do not right. default, and whose businesses are growing, you know, as a result of the financial lifelines they're able to get through us. And trust me, we are not trying to eat your lunch. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know about that. Uh, MSME, borrowers, sounds like the kind of people that we work with. Um, in terms of gender, the borrowers, how many, what percentage, percentage um, of men, women? 85% men, 15% yeah. women. women, but the women tend to perform better than the men. That's what I would like to hear. Thank you for coming on Tech Talk. Thank you for having me. Thank you so much.